Hey guys, it's John. You're on the JRB Tree Climbing Channel. Anything that you may need in terms of reference information, refer to my website, jrbtreeclimbing.com. In the video description, I will leave links to relevant videos and I will leave text overlays should you just want to search for those videos on YouTube. Just put in JRB in the title and you'll find the video. This tree here is pretty important to me. This tree is the one on which I filmed that video, single rope rappel on the Munter friction hitch a few years ago. It has been the most popular video on my channel. And so I'm coming back to this tree. We've got marks on the tree every five feet to indicate the height I'll be climbing. I'll be showing you how to take your rappel system. Everyone knows that rappel is the safest way out of a tree. Here I've got a 9.5 millimeter rappel rope. It's almost 38 feet long. I wish it was a little longer. I'll be showing you how to take this rappel rope, add a couple of friction hitches and a couple of carabiners on it, and turn it into a climbing system such that we can climb this tree without any slack, being tied in the whole time, having redundant points of connection onto our climbing rope, and we don't need any sticks to do so. What do I need to accomplish this task? Well, you got this part. You're also going to need a pole. You can build your own, or this here is what we call the JRB Maverick Pole. It's a telescoping pole. It's available for purchase at Eight Canyon Outfitters. Go to the JRB collection. It's made in the USA, and we've got this thing fully discounted. No discounts available. I just wanted to get this out for you as inexpensive as possible. It's got a rigid steel hook, and it can be used to tie either the Maverick hitch or the JRB cinch onto the tree. What else do we need? We need a JRB Garda hitch foot loop. This is also available as of this video publication. This is available as a kit from Ape Canyon. All you need to do is put it together. Or you, again, you can use the old instructions to build your own, but you need a guard hitch foot loop with the transformation loop such that I can make it shorter because we'll be running this in a short mode. Okay, I'm gonna describe the system as we take it apart. No retakes no edits or minimal editing. I like to keep it real. This system prerequisite is an anchor. You need to have a preferred anchor that's advanceable. I'm aware of two and I've introduced them both. One is the Maverick hitch that I'm attaching now. The other one is the JRB cinch. If you don't feel comfortable tying the Maverick hitch, which I, I just tied with, without looking at it, I'm not that confident, then you can use the JRB cinch. But I prefer the no metal option. I got a dedicated video when I introduced the pole on how to attach the pole to the Maverick and I simply walk it up the tree. The tree I've chosen today doesn't have any branches on it. If there were branches on it, well gosh I probably might have used a throw ball. But I can get around branches and I'll show you that in a future video. For today we're just simply going to climb a straight telephone pole like tree. I've got that hitch attached to the tree. At this point, I'm going to show you my bridges. You know I'm a fan of redundancy. I'm not going to tell you you have to use redundant bridges, but I wouldn't climb without it. Here's my short bridge. I leave that short. Here's my long bridge. I use it as a set of suspenders. I'm going to pop it off. I've got it really long, obviously. And now I'm going to make it really short. How short? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to make it so short that it's almost, I could just put a fist between my belt buckle and my bridge. And I'm going to take this friction hitch. This is the Longhorn Agile hitch. It's got uh, a Petzl William Ball carabiner on it. It's got a nice wide opening. And I'm going to take that and I'm, I'm going to attach it. I'm just going to attach it to my bridge. Now I know you're a little, you're a little far away, but that's not rocket science, right? I'm just, I'm just attaching this right onto my bridge and right on top of the Longhorn Agile. I've got a little room here on the side. And now I'm going to start my climb. How do I climb? Like all my SRT methods and my DSRT, I engage the guard to hitch foot loop. There's a dedicated video on how to do that. And when I get to that height, I'm, I'll need the other end of my rope. So instead of pulling it up, I'll just attach it to me so, so that it's handy. And now I'll start the climb. Now, I made the mention of redundancy. I could climb as I am right now, but 
I like to be redundant. And so I'm going to attach my redundant bridge, which is doing nothing, to the best friend loop such that I've got bridge redundancy and I can recover or self-rescue. If anything went wrong with my friction hitch, I can self-rescue. I preceded this video with a video on how to recover from any kind of a failure with this type of a climbing setup. So what do I do to climb? I sit, advance the friction hitch, and repeat. I advance my garda, I've got an entire playlist dedicated to SRT. I've got an entire playlist dedicated to this method that I call hitch climbing. It's like mini SRT. We're going to do a series of mini SRT climbs on this tree. Now as I approach, I'm going to get close to that, but I'm not going to quite touch it. I know you can't see that. I'll remove my pole, attach it to me, get the other end of my rope. So that first hitch was set at around 12 and a half feet. But the height at which we set our hitch is not our height. Our height is going to be about five feet, six feet lower than that, depending on how high you like your tie-in. I'm forming a maverick with the other side of the rope. I'm engaging it on the pole. I'm advancing it up. Now, right now, I don't need a lineman's belt, right? Look, I'm standing on one foot. Don't need a lineman's belt to be comfortable in this position. Everything's optimized. probably get another step that's about as high as I can reach and at that point I am going to set my hitch now I'm going to set it a little further on the back side so you can keep me in view a little better okay now I simply have to repeat the process here's the other friction hitch here's the other carabiner I could stand here indefinitely. If I, had, if I needed to, I could sit down and straddle the tree. I'm simply going to engage this on my bridge. And now I'm going to transfer over to it. How do I transfer over to it? Well, I just take the slack out of it. Stand up as high as I can, take the slack out of it. And then when I sit down, I'll be loading this. Right now I have three connections, three connections. I've got two to the tree. I still have redundancy on this system, but I'm testing that upper hitch. It's good. At this juncture, I remove my guard hitch foot loop, transfer it onto this line. So now I'm ready to climb the new line and this one can be removed. Unlock it, remove it, and proceed. Look familiar? It is, because I just did it a moment ago. Remove my pole. So I intentionally changed positions there. I rotated to the back of the tree just to demonstrate that as we climb, we may decide based on what we're seeing that we want to change our position. Okay. I've still got that other side of the system attached to me. I'm going to put a little slack in it. And I'm going to tie a third Maverick hitch. And this time I'll, I'll come back. 
I'll come back to the right. Now I could hunt at this height. It's a respectable height. I can't see the measurements as high as well as you can. I'll overlay that in text. But I'm high enough to hunt. But I prefer one more move. And we'll make that the height. And again, I'm a little bit behind the tree now, but I'm going to repeat the operation, right? There's slack in the upper hitch. I'm going to remove that slack. I'm going to step up just a little bit on my garda. And I'm good. I'll now transfer my foot loop. And I'm going to remove this guy. And I'm just going to let him hang down. Notice that I never took my foot out of the foot loop. There just was no reason to. There was no reason to. So, okay, so let's see here. 5, 10, 15, 20. Here's 20 feet. Let's say I want my platform here around 22 feet. You know, you could choose any height you prefer. See my video on platform attachment with mechanical advantage. Let's go up another step. Let's lengthen my bridge a little bit. Okay, right about here is good height. The weight of my climbing line presses the platform against the tree such that I got both hands to work with. And I could, I could run this rope either way. I could run it left or right. We'll do it this way so you, you can follow the action. nice thing about this method is that I'm pulling my platform onto the tree with tension and that's rather than pushing I'm pulling okay At this point I'll take my neck strap off now I could have skipped that detail but a lot of you guys always ask me John well, what about your platform can I see a complete climb and so I'm showing you that Got to climb around our platform. And here I am arriving at height. Now of course I'd bring up my climbing rope, but we're not gonna we're not gonna monkey around too much. We're gonna just get to the rappel, which you've seen before. I'll collapse my pole. You know, during the hunt, you could store this wherever. There's a million ways. I'm not sure if I figured out which one I want, but that's not rocket science. We would take our rope up. We might, we might drape our rope over the platform. That's one of my favorite ways to do it. We could also rig it on the end here. Plenty of options. But when it's time to repel, the procedure is the following. First thing I'm going to do is engage 
the Munter friction hitch on my short bridge. Remove the Garda, temporarily non-redundant at this time. I could leave my Garda attached or I could put it in my saddle bag. I'll do the latter just to keep things cleaner. See my video, single rope rappel on the Munter friction hitch. And the last thing I do is unlock the Maverick and attach my retrieval line. I'm using a high visibility retrieval line here. You might use something a little smaller than this, but I find it works well for Hollywood. Attach it to the line. And now I'll carefully begin my rappel. Rappel always should be initiated and executed slowly. We never want to feel an appreciable amount of heat in the system. Never want to feel that. Once I'm below the platform, I can remove it. Break my Longhorn Agile, resume repel. So in the future, I could show you how to do this with a climbing stick if you don't feel comfortable climbing without one. Personally, I find that a climbing stick just slows me down. It just slows me down and puts something metal in the way that I have to go around. So I don't find any advantage to climbing with a climbing stick, but I've had numerous requests asking uh, for me to demonstrate that, and so I will do so in a future video. But I wanted you to see this first. Now, when it's time to retrieve the system, you've seen this before, but this was my rappel rope, this is my retrieval line. This retrieval line, should I have tried to pull on it while I'm coming down, well, you've got to get like almost all your weight on that, which is just not going to happen, right? As soon as it's unloaded, though, I can bring down the Maverick. Okay, now it's simply a matter of retrieving, you know, raveling this up. So the point I want you to get here is that we're, we're climbing safely. I find it hard to imagine how I could fall provided that I'm comfortable with my anchor. I've got redundant points of connections onto my rope. I've got an escape plan. I'm always ready to repel. I am loading one anchor before I remove the old one as per best practices. So there's, there's a lot of features here that um, have been added. Got uh, redundancy was not a feature that we had in earlier pitch climbing, and we can do it with simply a repel rope. That is that's pretty cool. Now, if you want recommendations on rope and on products, well, refer to my website, jrbtreeclimbing.com. We've got a page on ropes. We've got a page on cords. We've got all the details of how I tie my friction hitches. And again, working with the folks at Ape Canyon, as demand increases for some of these systems, Ape Canyon's willing to put kits together for us. So if you want to see this here put together into a kit, well, leave me a comment. Let me a comment I can show to Ape Canyon, and we'll get a kit put together for you with the carabiners, the hitches, and the rope that you need to execute this climb, uh, even the retrieval line. Or you can simply piece it together yourself from scratch. But the point is that as these systems become more and more popular, uh, Ape Canyon's willing to work with us and get kits put together and also get you a good discount with the JRB15 discount code. All right, guys, thank you very much. Climb safely.